Funding is, is the one of the hardest things about making documentary yeah. films. And I have come to feel like making documentary films is not a business. It is art. And there is a business component to it. Um, and um, uh, But it's incredibly frustrating. And so you... you um, So you just, uh, well, okay, here, here would be my advice. On your first film, I would say in most cases, try to get the money from something other than grants. Um, because most, gr or at least from the typical grants that people are applying for funds for, um, until you have edited a lot of edited material because there's so many people competing for the same money that um, unless you have some some extraordinary access that nobody else has to a story that's obviously you know if you said I got Osama bin Laden is going to give me an interview or you know gave me an interview and I have the footage of that interview okay, then you'll probably be able to, to raise money. But um, there's so much competition and you can spend so much time applying for grants that you're not gonna get um, that I almost feel like it's worth trying to keep your production budget low and just m making your film. Um, and you're competing against people who have made five films or 10 films or 15 films. And if you're on a panel and you're trying to decide, and somebody who's never made a film before sends you a proposal and says, this is gonna be the best film, and it's gonna be about this, and it's gonna do this. Well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. And with Street Fight, I decided early that I was just gonna shoot it. So I bought a camera, and I bought tapes, and I did it. And fortunately, uh, cameras are cheap, and now they're even cheaper than they were then. And you can shoot a television quality, a theatrical quality movie, on a two thousand dollar camera, and you know, and it can be great, and um, and then after that, I, I I cut a trailer and I tried sending the trailer around, and nobody would give me money, and um, and I knew I mean, I'd already shot it, I already knew what was going to happen, I had trailer material, I it was dramatic, it was about race, it was about politics, all these things, and and people just said, ah, maybe. Maybe not, and I understand that. I mean, they did, I was completely untested, and and it's hard to finish a movie. And it wasn't until I had a cut of the movie um, that I finally was able to 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 get money. And and POV came in and very great and supportive, and ITVS put money in. Um, but I mean, I find even now it's very difficult to raise money. I mean, with if a tree falls, um, which you know, Street Fight was got a lot of awards and was very well received. And Racing Dreams also, you know, won Best Documentary at Tribeca and a lot of other, you know, a lot of awards. We've got incredible reviews everywhere. And um, and then I was apl I'm applying for money for this third movie that is mostly shot. That I've got a strong trailer. I've got five sample scenes that you can watch. It's about terrorism. It's about environmentalism. It's and, and, you know, I would just get rejected over and over and over from grants. Um, and uh, I don't know. I mean, they're different, they're different people who do it different ways. I've got some friends who make commercials, um, and then they just use that to supplement the money that they, to, to be able to make movies the way they want to make them. Um, you know, there is still the Sundance Fund. And for If a Tree Falls, ultimately, we cobbled together money. We got money from the Sundance Fund. We got money from Tribeca Gucci. Got money from Creative Capital. Um, got an investor to put money in. Got money from, um, uh, from uh, you know, the BBC ultimately put money in. POV and ITVS put money in. So, but, but each of those, for every time that we got money, we got rejected five times. And... Um, so, if it were my first film, I think the best advice is keep your costs low and keep yourself independent. And 
don't get bogged down in writing too many grants or trying to fundraise particularly early. Because you can shoot and edit a film for not that much money. The most of the money comes near the end of the process when you have to license archival footage and pay a composer and do color correcting and do audio mixing and all of that stuff is where the real expenses start. But you can make a rough cut on Final Cut Pro for nothing except your time. And, 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 and you can shoot a film for almost nothing except the cost of some hard drives and your time. So, um, and once you have that rough cut, then you can take it around to people and show it to them and, and raise money. I also think it's a good idea to try to raise money from the non-traditional documentary slots. So if you have a movie that's about an issue, I would go to foundations that fund that issue rather than going to foundations that fund documentaries. Um, because there at least you're not competing with a thousand other documentary filmmakers who are all going to the same, the same pot.